Well, gamers, as the pandemic spreads, we're all worried right now about getting sick. So to ease that fear, to ease the little, the little fears in the back of your head about getting a little bit ill uh, while you quarantine, I'm going to just go over uh, the zoo positivity hashtag here on Twitter to show you some people who are, who are legitimately fucking ill and are fucking disturbed. So grab your popcorn and grab a second empty bucket because you might need to barf. I'm not sure yet. I haven't read through anything, but we're going to find out together. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with being a zoophile. Just so he gets right to being wrong very quickly, doesn't he? Hashtag zoo sexuality is a sexuality. Yes, we are born this way, and yes, we wish to establish a consensual and mutually enjoyable romantic, emotional, and sexual bond with a non-human animal. It is 100% a sexuality. I like that he had to specify their non-human animal. Is he implying that, that human beings in and of themselves can also be animals? I mean, I guess technically that's not incorrect, but... Why make this really weird distinction? I don't, I don't understand this person. Maybe he just doesn't realize Twilight is like a work of fiction. He thinks werewolves are like a fucking thing that is, and he wants not a werewolf. Is kind of what he's getting at there. Put that on your Tinder profile. Not a werewolf. Thanks. There is nothing inherently wrong with Zophilia upside down smiley face. I've seen this Schrodinger's cat motherfucker around. Um, I guarantee you, if you ever tweet about Zoophilia, he's gonna jump in there and try to sell you a book. Like, there's this, there's a couple of people, he's one of them, who jump in there and say that they have all this objective proof, and they link a book that's, that's hidden behind a fucking paywall of, like, I don't even fucking know how much, I'm not gonna buy it. Like, I don't want that showing up in my credit card statement. Just, for anyone who's got, says they've got an amazing source of information, and they, like, for an argument, and they say that you need to look at this source, uh, open your ears. Here's Huey Lewis, I'm gonna hit you with the news. Make sure it's not hidden behind a paywall, because at that point you're not linking a source for a debate, you're a salesman trying to sell a product. You're just a shill at that point, and it kind of defeats the entire fucking purpose. Me before. Eh, the smell of freshly cut grass is kind of nice. Me now. Aware of being a zoo. Freshly cut grass smell. If you know, you know. Okay, now I'm legitimately fucking disturbed. I don't know what that means, and I'm afraid to look it up, but honest to god, this motherfucker needs to be like, I don't know, fucking get him in a straitjacket. Like, I don't know what that tweet was about, but it freaks me right the fuck out. I'm back to tweeting. Sorry about that. I don't forgive you, Eugene. Go get help. Remember, being perfect is actually about accepting yourself. You are enough, and you are loved. You are already perfect the way you are. Two things. Quack, one, that is a very, very apt name, and two, it's kind of funny that your profile picture is a duck and you're, you know, promoting zoophiles and, you know, pedophiles, because ducks are natural rapists. Just an observation, Quack, I find these very, very interesting. Okay, so with all the allies and stuff, if I were to be a sadist, are there allies and support groups for that? Please help, this is a serious request. I need to talk about hurting other people with people who understand. Uh, I would recommend a therapist, not social media. Don't, don't turn to social media for, you know, for your therapy sessions. Go talk to somebody with, like, an actual degree who can help you. You know, psychiatrists, therapists, the people who can actually, like, impact your life in a meaningful way. Not people looking for Twitter likes. Well, now that I feel sufficiently dirty for having looked over all these positivity tweets, I'm gonna read through some of my favorite ones that I found on this, because they're actually some pretty fucking funny ones, to be honest. You're all fucking useless. No one loves you. <laughs> oh my god, whoever that motherfucker is. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta fucking follow this guy. That's fucking hilarious, to be honest. Okay. That dude, oh my god, you fucking win the internet, man. This one right here, proof of pedophilia slash zoophilia slash necrophilia being valid or sexuality. And there's a meme there from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Oh wow, look, nothing! That's, you know what, spot on. That is an astute observation. There is nothing that proves that those are valid sexualities. I, I appreciate you, Map Hunter George. You keep fighting the good fight. We got a tweet here. Hey, add zooier than thou. Hey, I know those guys. I'm I'm fan and wanted to show my appreciation for the wonderful podcast with some fan art. 
Hope you enjoy. And then we got a we got a fan art right here of a Yiff and Hell dog fuckers. Ooh, I like that. It's spicy. I, I gotta say, that's some good fan art. I would I'd pin that shit to my fridge. We got fucking we got Jimmy Fuck it here with a hashtag zoo positivity. Eat shit, you animal fucking cucks. I hope y'all get raped in prison by a big ass dirty hillbilly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> with 13 different STDs, <laughs> you disgusting pricks. <laughs> Why 13? That's so specific. Oh, Jimmy, fuck it, you're a legend. I mean, you're not going to be around long using that kind of language, but god damn it, if that didn't make you feel like a million bucks. Oh man, I like that one. I like it a lot. <laughs> you're a fucking legend, dude. <laughs> Well, we've reached the end of the video. Oh my god, the first half was a bit rocky, but I think when we got to the the actual enjoyable tweets, that's where uh, that's where we really hit our stride there. Honestly, all y'all who are who are just kind of trolling on that hashtag, I it's like the best part of that hashtag to be honest. Um, just in my opinion, that's just one of the best uses for it. Fucking troll the shit out of them. <laughs> just just troll the shit out of them on their own hashtag. That's that's my opinion. If you just want my takeaway from that flood their hashtag with trolling anyway though uh, my social media is going to be in the description below and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video oh god help us